I forgot to add what the, the mission of the channel is. So besides the fact that I'm going to learn how to record and produce music and participate in the uh, instrumentals and uh, vocals if, if uh, the, the genes allows. But um, the mission is actually to, to change the, the way the music industry is working. So currently, well actually up until recently, it was dominated by a few big players, big artists, big producers and no one else could really compete. Uh, YouTube came along and actually created a, an environment where small players could actually get involved. So uh, it's been absolutely amazing uh, to, to see all this, this young, fresh talent, actual fresh talent, um, fresh being the oper operative word there, um, before it's just the same stuff being churned over and over and over again. I still think that the, the algorithm is somewhat uh, a little bit flawed. Uh, I've got nothing against Drake, but I don't think that his music content is is worthy of the of the glory in his numbers uh, I, I think he's i think he's okay uh, he's not my genre of music but i think he's done pretty well for himself and his music is like i said okay it's very very well produced and i think that that's where his skill is i think his melodies are average but yet they pump out, they absolutely pump out. So anyways, my, my mission is to, to give the, the, small, the small fry a chance to, to compete with the numbers that Drake is achieving. Uh, once again, no offense Drake, I think you're great. I think you're doing a fantastic job. Just kind of think that the algorithm is somewhat skewed. And I feel like that once, you, once you're at the top, it's, um, it's self-perpetuating and I think something needs to be done about that. So uh, the other thing I want to want to achieve is is actually free content. I don't really believe in, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll do um, videos in the future about my, my beliefs on music, but um, one of the, the things that I, that I truly disbelieve in is, is owning sound waves. I don't think that, that you have the right. I don't think that anyone has the right to a specific sequence of waves. And that's all their music is at the end of the day. And I feel like that it should be free. And I feel like that, that, that ownership is actually limiting fantastic production. I, I, think, it's, I think it's limiting. Don't get me wrong, there's, there's, there's definitely reward in the process, but to, to own it and to, to limit others from creating, I think that something's gotta be done there. So obviously I'll, I will be creating as much new content that I can, and uh, that'll be free, free for everyone to use. Um, I have to think about the, uh, the vocals because that's, that's something quite personal and um, it's, it's a form of identification. So uh, I have to think of, think of a workaround with uh, using vocals. Uh, sorry, the, the free use of vocals, but uh, everything else um, is just instruments. And I, and I get that instruments are, are somewhat signatory. They, uh, it's a signature sound, I get that. Um, but uh, the, the sequence of notes, the progression of notes shouldn't be owned, I don't think. I don't think that should be owned at all. I think it's fantastic that people create new sequences that are appealing to the ear, but I, I truly, believe, truly believe that you don't have the right to own the sequence of sound waves in the universe. The universe has allowed you to, to hear them, to, cre to create them, but they're not yours. So give them back. Over and out.